Good morning. It is 5.42 a.m. on Tuesday, August 25th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, oh, so, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yesterday, I watched the premiere of Fear the Walking Dead, the new spin-off show from The Walking Dead. And it's fine. I you know, it does definitely make take steps to separate itself from The Walking Dead and not just be a carbon copy of that. Um, and a big couple of the ways that it does that are by setting it during the initial outbreaks, uh, setting it like in, you know, a city in an urban area, having it focused more around like one family rather than a group of ragtag survivors because that's not what everybody is yet. Although I imagine it will get more like that as it goes. And I don't know, I like, there, there are things about it that are well done. And if I sound like I'm, you know, leading up to a but, it's because I am. But <laughs> it's not a bad show by any stretch. And I almost nothing that it's doing is why I feel this way. But I don't know, I was just watching it and kind of just not caring because there's an element of... I know this part of the story already. And I'm not yet invested enough in the characters to feel like, well, I have to see how it goes for these people. It's one of the things about The Walking Dead is, you know, despite it hardly being the first zombie media out there, ultimately that was still, like that's the show's thing, especially early on when we haven't really gotten to know any of our characters yet. Like, early on in pilot of The Walking Dead, you know, sure we've got Rick. Um, we meet Morgan, I think, towards the end of the pilot, or maybe even in the middle. But certainly a lot of the other fan favorite characters hadn't even shown up yet. And so, you know, there's, there, there could be time, you know, it takes time to build those character relationships. It's hard for that to be what really draws you in at first, in the very first episode. But The Walking Dead had the virtue of being the first really hardcore zombie thing to be on regular TV. You know, there's, there was movies before, but this is the first TV show. And it was approaching it and, um, you know, had a different tone than what had come before it. This, I think, suffers from the fact that sci-fi, fantasy, horror <clears throat> geeks have kind of an embarrassment of riches on TV uh, these days. Just there being a zombie TV show doesn't really seem all that special anymore. And as a result, uh, got a little dog. Hey, Luna, are you a good girl? What did you think about the zombie show? Good puppy. Yeah, she was unimpressed. Um, so, yeah, I, it's it's not that the show's bad or that it really even does anything wrong. I just sort of. As I watched it, I was thinking to myself, I'm not sure I really need a second zombie show. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I'll... I think it's only six episodes for this initial run, kind of like the original Walking Dead actually was in its first season. So I might keep watching it for now, but I definitely, as I watched found myself like wanting to play video games instead. 
Um, and that's not a great sign. Like I said, um, I don't want <clears throat> to talk anybody out of watching it because I didn't really feel like the show itself did anything wrong except to just kind of be late to the party. Uh, so, you know, you might uh, not feel that way. Maybe you're still feeling like I need all the zombie stuff I can get because zombies are cool. Hey, you might like this. It's certainly, you know, well produced and, you know, it's taking a, uh, making an effort to show a different time, a uh, different phase of the whole zombie outbreak, you know, as it's going on and instead of uh, after, you know, going through a coma when everybody's figuring it out. But, uh, yeah, I um, wasn't super thrilled. Okay, uh, that'll do for today, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.